Hello? Governor? Mr. President? Yes, sir. Glad to hear you. Well, I'm glad to hear, hear you. I, uh, Governor Ellington said that you were standing by and that I could call you. Yes, sir. I'm always standing by, and you always call me anytime you want to. Well, thank you very much. I wanted to, Mr. President, I want to give you a, just a brief rundown of how busy you are. Uh, the court, as you know, has ordered this march, and uh, of course, it's an unlimited march. And, uh, you know, we have very limited uh, amounts of state uh, policemen, and they are off the roads, and we've had drunken drivers running into people and killing them the last eight weeks, as a result of not having adequate protection on the highways, and these people are pouring in from all over the country. The hotels are, are all the cities are full, and the motels, some of the motels going up double on the night, mm. you know, so mm. we've got plenty, of, and they're flying in nuns and priests, and got the hundreds of bearded beatniks in front of my capital now. And the point I'm making is that uh, we're going to do the best we can, but we hope that you might uh, use your influence to at least uh, make them have an orderly march. And, uh, because uh, I, I, I don't know, uh, it looks like the group coming here with the language they're using. They made a speech on the streets of our city two days ago, and uh, James Bowman uh, suggested in front of all the nuns and priests that if they, anybody went in the cafe and they wouldn't serve them, they'd kick the fucking legs of the tables off. They're all uh, uh, making that kind of uh, intemperate remarks and inflames people, you know, but I'm going to, I'm asking people to, going to ask them to stay away from this highway, to uh, use your superior discipline, and uh, I'm going to do, do everything that I can, but now, all I, I want to say quite frankly is that they've been stirred up uh, by a lot of things, and of course, uh, I, don't, I know you don't want anything to happen that looks like a revolution, but if these people keep pouring in here uh, and conducting themselves in the manner they are, why, well, it's going to take you, <laughs> it's going to take everybody in the country to stop something, and uh, I mean, and they're also pouring in from other parts of the country, I reckon, on both sides. Well, uh, uh, uh Governor, uh I, uh, the court has, uh, acted now, and, uh, uh, obviously the longer the march is postponed, the greater the presence and the longer the people on the outside are going to stay in Alabama and the more problem, uh, you're going to have and the more problem I'm going to have and the more problem the country is going to have. And, uh, uh, I think it, uh, uh, I think it, uh, that you're, uh, concern is uh, justified and uh, if uh, uh, if uh, uh, you can do anything to get that request for stay uh, out of the way uh, so we don't have to uh, sit here and wait days and days and days uh, for that to be acted on while this stuff builds up and uh, uh, blows the cork out why it would be good, and if uh, if you'd call up uh, your own guard, uh, they, their conduct has been very good. Uh, uh, if you if you say your uh, your patrolman got to go on back uh, to watch the highways, uh, you call up your own guard and into the service of the state. And I would ask uh, our best people to uh, cooperate, our defense department to provide. Uh, a group of uh, counselors, advisors, to work with them, and uh, I would, uh, if you uh, wanted me to, uh, work with you and assure you that proper contingencies of, of uh, men uh, uh, would be uh, stationed at Craig and Maxwell in the event that, uh, the unlikely event, they were needed, and if uh, the situation were to deteriorate, uh, we can't always anticipate. Uh, uh, maybe we'd have to uh, federalize them, but uh, uh, put them under a single command, and the troops in Craig, uh, at Craig and Maxwell could be called in. Uh, I would be glad to uh, to take those steps uh, if uh, uh, you felt that uh, uh, the orderly uh, uh, needs of the uh, of uh, the situation there uh, justified it and required it, and maybe by all of us uh, saying to them, uh, let's uh, let's have the march, let's get it over as soon as we can, let's everybody stay at home at will, and let's don't uh, 
when you talk about a revolution, that uh, that really uh, well, that I really think. upsets us all, and we don't want to. Yeah, I know you don't, and I know I don't, and we just got to work together best we can to uh, to see that we discharge our duties, uh, and I'm willing to do it if uh, well, if this has any, if this uh, if this is what you want. Well, let me say this, Mr. President, when I say revolution, because uh, I think... Well, I, know, I, I know what you mean. That's, that's, uh, I understand that. I, we do have some revolutionaries down Well, there. I know that. I understand that. But, uh, and of course, if I was a revolutionary, I probably could invite a quarter of a million people to come help us, but of course, I don't want anything like that at all. I, I don't know. want anybody to get hurt. But the reason I don't want to be in the position of enemy is that I'm asking for federal troops or anything of that sort. Uh, I just uh, hope that, uh, of course, this state was asked for us. The purpose is, uh, I just don't see, uh, actually, this, uh, of course, we know the Justice Department's in contact with the court down here, but what we want to know is this. If after this march is over and we strain ourselves and beg our people and we don't have any trouble, uh, of course, we've got some in their ranks that we have ministers down here that are walk up and scratch the patrolman on the hand, you know, and uh, we, they, they turn it around. They go preach yesterday, ask all the patrolmen what their wives were doing, uh, uh, where they, some of their friends could have dates with their wives, you know, trying to prove that. You know, trying to prove that.